Hello friends, today we are going to determine the Young's modulus of a material by bending of its beam. So basically this is a very simple experiment. Whenever we bend a rod, then one of its side is compressed and another side is stretched longer. Overall this rod opposes this change and this quantity is related to the Young's modulus of the material. That's why we can calculate Young's modulus of a material by bending of beam. So let's start this experiment and see what are the basic necessities. First of all, we need a bench. On this bench, we have two wedges on which a metal rod can be placed. This metal rod has one hook and one pin attached to it. We can hang some weight from this hook and we can also increase this weight as per the requirement. We also have a traveling microscope like this. We can place it like this and focus on this pin. One thing you can notice that you are getting an inverted image of this pin. First, note down the reading when there is no weight hanging on this beam. Now, if we increase the weight, this rod will bend a little bit. In the eyepiece, as we can see that, now the cross wire is not exactly at the tip of this pin. We can use this knob and move the traveling microscope a, a little bit downward, but it will look as we are moving upwards. Again, if we increase weight, this rod will go down even further. And then again, we will use this knob and set the cross wire of this microscope on the tip of this pin. In this experiment, we need to observe these readings. The reading of the scale of traveling microscope is same like reading a vernier calipers. For this, you can watch our video on vernier calipers. Now we need to construct a table of this. So in this table, in the second column, we have different loads. So basically, at the beginning, we start without any load hanging with this rod. So the first load is 0.0, .0 kilogram. The next load is 0.5 kilogram. And similarly, we can increase this load. You may go even further it depends upon the strength of your rod and the weights available. Observe this microscope reading while increasing the load and also while decreasing the load. Finally, in this column, take the mean of these readings which you have gathered while increasing and decreasing the loads. Let's say these uh, mean values are D1, D2, D3, D4, D5 and D6. But we need to calculate the depression. To scale this measurement with respect to zero, we can perform our calculation like this. So our depression is zero when there is no weight. Overall, we are deducting this value D1 from each of the value and getting the value of depression with weight. Now, let us consider we want to calculate depression for M is equal to 1.5 kilogram load. We can perform this calculation further like this. So, fourth point where we have hanged a load of 1.5 kilogram and the first point when there is no load at all. So, we can deduct these values. And overall, we can get the depression because of 1.5 kilogram load. Similarly, fifth point, which is 2 kilogram load, and the second point, which is half kilogram load. If we deduct their depressions, so overall, we will get a resultant depression in the road because of 1.5 kilogram load. And similarly, the case between sixth and the third reading. Finally, we take a mean of them and get an average value of the depression because of 1.5 kilogram load hanging on the bar. And we also know that the formula 
for Young's modulus is this. So Young's modulus is equal to M which is the load we are hanging and in this case because we are averaging it for M equal to 1.5 kilograms so capital M is 1.5 kilogram value of G we know very well acceleration due to gravity and this quantity small y towards the right hand side of this formula this is the average depression we just calculated in this formula we still have three unknown quantities which are l b and d these three parameters are related to the beam we have used in this experiment so in a clearer picture we can see that okay this is our beam and this length l is the length between the wedges where this bar is resting this quantity b is the width of this beam and this quantity d is the thickness you should not confuse between these quantities b and d because d is a very crucial quantity in this formula and also take care that these quantities l b and d take them in meter so in this way you have gathered the values to calculate your Young's modulus. Isn't it a simple experiment? The range of Young's modulus for different materials is given below. You can verify your answer for the beam you are using and approximately estimate the error in your result. Thanks for watching. I hope you like this video. If you like this, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Take care and have a very good day. Bye-bye.